Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the multi select functionality in Atom. Now, this is a way to have multiple cursors to be able to type things in multiple different places at once and is exceedingly handy. So, let's check it out right now. If you've used other modern text editors, multi-select is maybe a feature you've come across. Now, multi-select is really one of the most useful type of features that exists in the modern text editor. It allows you to essentially have multiple cursors all over your document. Now, you might be wondering why this is important. Well, we could do a find and replace on these P tags to get rid of them. You could do a find and replace in this selection to get rid of them if there's multiple P tags on your page. However, it might be sometimes occasionally just quicker to do a multi selector and let's change this to a div. So, what I did there, let's head back, is I clicked the cursor into a spot. Then, while holding the command key, I selected in front of another spot. And you'll notice we now have two cursors. Now, these cursors both function exactly like one cursor would. If we can hit delete, it's just going to keep deleting and we could wreak total havoc on our website. You'll see we have these multiple cursors and they're going nuts. Now, let's say in addition, we had a whole bunch of list items here and you forgot to put anchor tags in them. So all of a sudden you want all these anchor tags. Now, the bummer here is that in Sublime Text, you could alt click and drag down. Uh, you'll notice that's not the case in Atom. So what we'll have to do is simply just click in all of these spots here. And from here, we can say anchor tag like so. And you'll notice we can type a whole lot here. We can set this all up. We can hit enter or whatever. Uh, but we, either way, we can set this all up so that all we need to do is add in the text where needed. So multi-cursor works really well in Atom. However, it is certainly missing the sublime text style column selectors. And if you look in packages, you may just find a package that does that for you. So what's the extent of cursors? Well, you can just keep clicking and placing cursors as your heart desires. And as you can see, any action that we make on those cursors will happen on all of them at once. This is a productivity tool that you may find yourself using all the time. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to get these videos early, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase the entire series for download, or you can see them streaming as a Level Up Pro member. As always, this is Scott Talinsky. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.